Hello, this is Roy Do, and I'm going to make a build video of the Vortex 3. This is one of the uh, Vortex 3s that I will be taking with me to the World Championship in Ukraine. Uh, as you can see, it's a special paint job by uh, Dennis. Um, it's, uh, this kit has an automating system. Uh, the horns here when you put the wing and the fuselage connect automatically I'm going to show you how that's done I'm going to show you how the tails are uh, assembled uh, servos uh, set up uh, all the small uh, details in order to help you to build your Vortex 3 and get it flying um, as easily as possible uh, first a short review of the kit the wing comes with um, the horns pre-assembled uh, the glue at the factory they have a little pin that like in the snipe that that helps to position in, in the the horns and relieve loads from the um, from the hinge line um, this is glued with epoxy into the uh, wing um, the wing is pretty much complete this one still doesn't have the gap seal which I will put myself uh, but wings that will come from Dennis will come with the gap seal already installed and basically in order to complete this type of wing all you need to do is make a hole for the peg and put the peg and we'll also see how that is done um, so peg and the wing will be complete so I'm just gonna put this aside and I'm going to show you the fuselage the fuselage comes with a rib system already pre-assembled inside it has a canopy for easy access it has tubes that I'll explain later how they work uh, they run up to here and uh, you basically route the wiring from the tails into the tubes again I'll, I'll show you how it's done there are uh, slots uh, here uh, uh, for the um, uh, automatic system to engage the push rods uh, the kit comes with pre-assembled push rods that are put inside and once connected to the servos they sit like this and the wing just pops into place and I'll show you that as well um, servo tray canopy and the tails I this plane um, I will uh, be um, assembling with a glass rudder this is a the glass rudder is a tiny bit heavier about 0 0.2 0 0.3 grams heavier which is not a lot and uh, and not as stiff as the carbon the reason i'm using this is because uh, in world championship there are usually a lot of planes flying and i need something with higher visibility than the carbon tails that that most people use uh, so i've chosen to trade off uh, the stiffness uh, and a tiny amount of weight for a slightly better visibility this is an option if you want uh, if you want durability carbon i'm using this in order to see the plane better um, there is an option for a uh, this one is a bottom mounted a, a, a fuselage i also have a second plane that i will be building that is a top mounted fuselage you can see both fuselages are the same except one is has the elevator a, a post already a, a installed a, it's a, it comes out of the mold a, there are basically two molds for fuselages one with the elevator a post on the top and one on the bottom a, the reason for this is that Dennis didn't want to have a post that are glued and they can disconnect because of this if someone didn't glue it correctly and when you order a plane just order which type of um, elevator you want top or bottom um, I have a bottom elevator with me they look exactly the same it's but the difference is that bottom elevator has it's, it's a little bit difficult to see but it's edge here on the bottom there's a B and over here there's a T for the top elevator so top elevator bottom elevator that's how you distinguish between the two so when you order a top elevator you get a fuselage with a, a, a elevator post on top and an elevator with a T on it 
and when you order bottom uh, mounted elevator you get the elevator post on the bottom and an elevator with a B on it the difference is in the incidence um, of the two tails uh, there's a slight difference in incidence uh, to make sure that, that the elevator sits in the right angle for um, so you don't need a uh, much elevator trim depending on your CG of course uh, that's about it uh, for the introduction and I'm going to uh, start the build and uh, if you have any questions there's the uh, thread on RC groups you're welcome to ask questions and I'll do my best to answer there uh, please enjoy this uh, video and I hope it helps you to build your Vortex 3